Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. It's an absolutely gorgeous morning here this morning. The sun's coming up and it's, it's quite warm already, which is nice after all that rain we've had. It's been very muggy. But it's really nice today. Park's nice and quiet. Give you a little look about. Really nice. You can just hear the parrots squawking in the background. It can be really noisy. But um, I was going to talk about uh, other people's thoughts and what other people think about us. Now, this is something that if you let it get a hold of you, it can be quite bad. Because if you get caught up in what other people think about you, it can direct your life or make you think in a certain way that's not real. So many people in our lives have got so many opinions of us and other things and other people. But what you've got to remember is they're just opinions. Some of them could be true, some of them mightn't be true. Some of them could be just a fantasy, you know, they're way off course. And what can happen is if you're very close to someone, like maybe a partner or a sibling or a good friend, you can allow their thinking or their thoughts about a situation to dictate what you're going to do next. Now, sometimes people can give good advice, <clears throat> but you've always got to remember to take what somebody says basically with a pinch of salt and then you have to go back and think yourself, is that the right thing for me? Is what they're saying correct? Luna's gone chasing up there after a squirrel. Is what they're saying correct? Because if you don't be mindful about that, you can get the incorrect information. And if you go along with it, it ends up not turning out to be the best thing for you. And sometimes when we are close to people, you think that all oh, your good friends with them close to them, they must know what they're talking about. But what you'll tend to find is most of the time, <laughs> Luna's, Luna's very frisky this morning. <laughs> I can't get this video done. Um, most of the time, what you'll find is uh, they don't really know you. A lot of people think that they know you. But to be honest with you, most people don't. Even if you've been around that person for a long time, unless there's someone who has given you a lot of space and a lot of freedom, and they want the best for you. And I'm not saying that everybody's intentions are bad. A lot of the times people's intentions aren't bad, but they just don't know you because what they're doing is they're giving you advice from what they would do. And sometimes as well, what you might find is people will judge you in a certain way they'll judge a behavior or they'll judge a way that you look or a way that you dress or something you believe in. And they just open their mouths and it all spills out and they don't even think about it. And they could say to you that you're a certain way or you behave this way or you behave that way. And it's not true. And you can take offense or you can take it personally that um, someone has thought about you in that way 
or thinks that you are that type of person. But what you have to remember is you know yourself best and you've got to not let these things get into your head. When someone is giving you advice or someone is saying, you know, you're this or you're that, you've got to be very clear minded about it. And you've got to kind of look at it in a way as what you think of me is none of my business. And that it regards to whether you're in a workplace or whether it's a family member or someone that's trying to get you to do something for them, you know, a selfish need. They might say a certain thing to make you try and feel guilty or something like that, you know, because they have their own agenda. It takes a little bit of practice because maybe you have been used to taking things personally that people said, or maybe you reacted to what people said and you felt hurt. Because sometimes people say things and they don't even think about it. They don't even apply any logic to what they're saying at all. It just comes out of their mouth. So what you've got to remember is that you know yourself better than anyone. So you have to trust in yourself. So if someone says something to you that's out of character, maybe they say you're not a nice person or you're lazy or I don't know, whatever, you're a bad worker, whatever. Or they tell you you should be doing this, you know. I remember, like, my sister, she used to always say to me all the time, you should get a man. Why don't you get a man? You know, and I just used to just ignore it because there was no point in me getting into a big debate with her about what she thought you know that was her thinking on what she would do if she was single it didn't actually apply to me to my thinking so I would just let it go and then I would think right okay do I want my nah, I don't so you know and I just let it go so but sometimes we can take these things personally but what you what you realize is it's actually what they would do. It's their thinking or it's a reflection of their self, how they would think about themselves. So if you're in any situations where people are doing your head in like that and annoying you, that's lovely, that sun at my back, just see it that they are thinking what they would do and they're trying to give you that and most of the time it's harmless they just don't engage their brain when they're letting it all fall out of their mouth most of the time so i hope that helps until next time take care